I'm Scott Allen Miller. It's the 25th of September, 2022, Saturday, and welcome to my show of daily life in Esteli, Nicaragua. Yes, we're in Esteli, and I'm actually walking by the stadium. You can see the stadium roof here. Doing a number of walks. I did uh, one on the 22nd, doing another today. I'm actually just left my hotel, and I'm heading to uh, the, the Terminal de Autobus uh, in order to head out. Hold on, I'm gonna take real quick, see if you guys can see this. This is the stadium. And hopefully you can see a little bit of it in there. And uh, so, but today actually takes place in Leon. My day started off uh, in, goodbye. <laughs> in, uh, so people say goodbye here when they see you because I'm told, so here, uh, and I've mentioned this before, but adio or adios is used much like aloha in Hawaii. It means goodbye and hello. And what I'm told is that you use it as a hello as people are passing by because you're not going to see them so that you are actually saying goodbye because they're leaving. And so it's kind of a combination of hello and goodbye. And there's actually a, a reason for it uh, because why say hello if, if they're leaving at the same time? So you say goodbye. So adios is what they say in Spanish. So when they learn it in English, it's goodbye instead of hello. Uh, and it sometimes seems like, oh, why did they say that? That is why. Anyway, so this morning takes place in Leon. I was working all morning and uh, trying to get ready so that I could travel this afternoon. It was a very busy morning, just dealing with a ton of work stuff. Last night was a disaster uh, for work. And today was just a train wreck of stuff checking to make sure i have the cleaning up after i'm sorry it's sunday did i say it was saturday it is sunday cleaning up from all the disaster on saturday so i'm going to turn you around as soon as i cross the street here and we are at the library which we showed the other day uh and of course a taxi slows down because he wants to pick us up but so it makes it that you can't get anywhere because he stops in the intersection honking at you like no i'm busy I mean, I appreciate it. Sometimes you need a taxi. All right, we're turning around. Here we go. That is the library that we showed on the 22nd. And this, I'm not sure what this is, but that's an ice cream place. I don't know what that is. Okay. We're walking through a different part of the city. Not very far, obviously, from where we were before. Mas despacio, por favor. But going to show some stuff. Cool murals over here. It is hard to walk hard in the city while talking. That's one of the, the harder things. But I want to give you a view of more of the, the streets that people live on rather than the big main roads. You can see these houses are pretty cool, a lot more modern. So today it was just, it was just work and not fun work. It was fixing messes work, it felt like, all day and getting ready for travel and everything. And then at 4 o'clock-ish, headed out to grab a bus from the terminal to go from Leon to Esteli where I'm doing some work this weekend. Oh, a big open space here on the, must be the south side of the library, so you can see what it's like over there. Try not to swing you around too much as we head up the street. So that's actually where the adventure of the day started. So we were in Leon, went to the bus terminal, and Got there at about 4, and the bus left at 4.30, so we had about half an hour to get ready. Went and got some food, tried out some stuff. I discovered dedos de queso, which are basically breadsticks with a bit of cheese in them, and they're delicious. They're a little bit greasy. This is a really cool house. Nice and modern. That has the feeling like it was just built. Probably wasn't, but it feels that way. Uh, really good cheese sticks. Enjoyed that and uh, then caught the bus at 4.30. Now there isn't a direct bus, at least not most of the day, between Leon and Esteli. So what's necessary is to go to the transfer point at San Isidro, which we did when we're going from Matagalpa back to Leon as well. Not hard, very easy to do. It's not a big deal that you have to transfer at all. And it's at the end of the line. So if you fall asleep, doesn't matter. So we took the bus and it took three hours to get from Leon to San Isidro. So 7.30, pulled into San Isidro. Uh, and because it was late at night, they didn't actually go to the terminal, which I've shown, I'm not sure if I've shown it in a video or shown it in a short or something, but I have shown it at some point, the San Isidro terminal. 
and which is quite nice. Uh, but we didn't go there because it was late at night. They just dropped us off in the street and we had to walk about half a block real close. And there's just a bus stop out on the highway. We grabbed that, just stood there, I think about 10 minutes. And the Managua bus came through, picked up everyone who was waiting and whisked us off to Esteli. And there's really only one or two real stops between San Isidro and Esteli, uh, La Trinidad being the main one. Uh, so it's relatively quick. So the entire distance, about an hour. Uh, so in total, about four, about four hours in total, not including the time we waited for the initial bus, so four and a half. Oh, this is a cute place here. A couple of restaurants going on around here. And uh, so that put us at just before nine o'clock coming into Esteli in the south side of town out here where we're headed at the bus terminal from there we had to grab a taxi and uh, make it to the hotel where we are for the weekend, the Hex Hotel in the, on the north side of town. So we wanted to be on the north, uh, well, mostly just because it's where we're able to find rooms because not a whole lot of rooms available in town at the moment. Got a cool mural here. Hopefully I'm going to get it. And... Uh, So that went pretty smoothly, long, but comfortable. It rained most of the way, that slowed things down. There's a lot of people getting picked up and dropped off. So it's a local bus. That is the Bourbon Cafe right there. Not open right now. This place is very attractive and modern. Oh, look at this. Very different styles than you're normally seeing. And, uh, Modern on the other side, beautiful. I don't know if you can see this arch we just walked under, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. I love the modern horizontal metal that's used a lot of places. So we got up to the hotel by taxi. They charged us 50 cords each, which I feel is rather steep. I've heard Esteli should be 30, 40, I would understand. 50, mm, pretty sure that was a gringo tax, but it was also coming from the terminal all the way across town late at night, I don't know. I didn't argue, but seemed a little bit usury. Anywho, got to the hotel, got checked in. Uh, the hotel was, was quite nice, very modern, not too expensive, like $49, which is expensive by Nicaragua standards, but not, not outrageous. I have to mention it has, so in my, my short, I showed my room on my short uh, a few days ago, and I showed the shower, it was cold. When I got there, it was cold. In the morning, it was hot from the tap and then cold from the shower. And then late morning, it was hot. So you take your chances. There, this is one of those places that actually has cold and hot plumbing. Um, and we, in, we, we encountered this in Guatemala as well, where there was uh, uh, buildings that were plumbed for hot water, but the hot water was only turned on at certain times and then ran out really quickly, uh, which is not too surprising. Small tank only on once in a while, but it means if you want to shower at night, it's off. There's some beautiful buildings back there behind everything. I have no idea what that is. Looks really neat though. Uh, so, so that's not ideal. Uh, having to manage the time, volcanic cafe. It's weird that it's a volcanic cafe up here where there's no volcanoes and not down in Leon where they're everywhere, but uh, yeah, managing your shower times in order to get hot water and it being unpredictable, that sucks. Because you're like, oh, I really am looking forward to taking a shower. Oh, not now. What do you do? Just keep testing the water every hour and hope you get lucky? That's not a great process. So, but other than that, the room was comfortable. A little bit small, but very nice, uh, very modern, which is a nice change of pace. All of Esteli, very modern compared to what we're used to. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. And, uh... Uh, it's been pretty cool and the weather is pretty nice during the day only getting up to about 26 which I think is I don't think that's what it is right now while I'm filming I think it's about 24 but uh, during the day today on Saturday it got up to 26 and then we ran out once we had the hotel settled uh, and went looking for some food and found a little Mexican place. It was like right across the street, basically, uh, and got some burritos, really good. It was a very authentic Mexican place. I was very happy with that. This thin building here is really goofy. That's taller than we normally get and weird. 
but it has potential. And then a nice house behind it that must be like, yeah, so we have this weird tall building next to us. It's very strange, but it's easy to find our house. <laughs> and uh, had a really nice dinner, stopped at the AM PM on the way back, grabbed some snacks and uh, that was it. That was the day. So today I'm gonna talk about, sorry, that was a lot of talking to, to get down to, talking about the different regions of weather in Nicaragua, as I think this is well worth talking about. When you're looking at Nicaragua, as, as many of my viewers are, uh, you really have to understand that the weather comes in big regions, and that's true anywhere, right? But I think in Nicaragua, we tend to forget that this is the case. And up here, we have the Highlands region, uh, which I talked about the other day about, I talked a bit about temperature on the 22nd, that the, the Highlands, the, the Matagalpa, the Esteli, the Hinotega, and Atenal, and, and some of the other cities up here, Wee Wee Lee, uh, they are relatively cold. This is a very mild climatic area. It's still plenty warm. You're not gonna, you know, be disappointed. If your goal is to be able to wear shorts most of the time, you can get away with it. It's a really nice modern restaurant here. But if you wanna be able to wear jeans, you wanna once in a while have to wear a jacket, you want things to be not sweaty, then these cities are gonna work out really well a lot of the time that they, they, are, they don't have the oppressive heat that some other cities have, the, the ones that people think of. So this Highland region, very, very mild. And then we have the Western Lowland region, that's Leon and Chenandega. That region is super hot, and that's what most people think of when they think of Nicaragua. For some reason, is those cities, the ones that are not visited that much, they are very, very hot. And partially, obviously because of my show, showing Leon all the time, and sometimes Chenandega, we give an impression of it being much hotter than the country actually is much of the time. I love how the different styles are all set in together. And this place on the right, let's see if I don't get run over here. This is pretty cool. Check that place out. Looks like still being built. That's gonna be gorgeous when it's done. Wow, really nice. And this cute place next door, cool little neighborhood. Oh, I hate swinging you guys around, but this place is cute too. There's no good answer. I need to get a 3D camera mount it to my head and uh, <laughs> and walk around with that. And then you can turn the view around to be like, what is he looking at? What's he looking at? <laughs> ah. Then there's the Managua capital zone. In the middle of the country, it's Managua, Messiah, and Granada. And this region has kind of a warm but not oppressive weather. And when I hang out in Managua, I'm always happy with just how fresh it is compared to the western cities. You really notice that it is more livable. Now, I did live in Granada. The thing that I found in Granada is that the air does not move that much, and that makes it feel much warmer. I also lived in Granada, having been in New York just before that, in a colder time of year, and did not get to live there long enough to have a long amount of acclimation. So Granada is probably not as hot as my memory serves for many reasons, but it is hot. And I have found even Leon, which is technically hotter, feels less hot just because of the way that the air moves through the city and the way that the buildings are built. So your mileage may vary, but I personally find Granada to be a bit warmer than Managua and Messiah. And then in the south, Rivas kind of falls into the same zone, but in between, there's another region with towns like El Crucero and Hinotepe, Didiambra, and these towns, while smaller, much smaller, no major cities, uh, they sit on kind of an upper plateau, which would kind of remind you of the plateau you get between Leon and the Highlands near where Sabaco is where you get a higher elevation, but not a high elevation, uh, and a good amount of wind and smaller towns. And these tend to be agricultural zones, and they are a bit cooler yet than Managua. But when you get down to Rivas and south, you are back warm again near sea level. And by the time you get to San Juan del Sur, of course, it actually sits on the water. It's hard to get more sea level than that. But people in San Juan del Sur report that living in the village down at sea level 
and living up on the hills around the village have a very different climatic experience in just that small space. And I've been told by people who live there with quite nice houses that it is really common if you live towards the top that you won't use air conditioning. And there's so much wind that it's hard to keep things in place in the house because papers and stuff or books will blow around from the amount of wind, which keeps it nice and cool. So it's, it's really amazing how much altitude affects things in this country. Um, I feel it affects things more than it does back home in the States, but that's probably, I don't know, just my imagination kind of thing. And then in the east, on the Mosquito Coast, you get back to sea level again. So it gets very warm, but there's a very small population out there. So the jungle and Caribbean areas, look at these cute street dogs. Hello, you're famous now. Uh, and then there are some cities in the middle of the country, very small population out there, and I really don't know what their weather's like. I imagine more like Managua, because they are not as high as these and not at sea level, kind of in the middle. Whew, a lot of hills, and we're at very high elevation. So that is my, that is my Saturday. We are in Esteli, filming as much as we can, and uh, a lot of graffiti over here. I'll try to get some. All right, it's a good point to, all right. Thanks for joining me. Remember to like and subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel, go look below. There is a link to buy me a coffee that really does come straight to me. Very much appreciated. So many people have been doing that. Thank you so much. Really means a lot. One last spin around. This corner is really cute. There's a tip top and this cute place that should be a restaurant. It's probably a house. What a cute corner that we just came up on. All right, I'm gonna start tomorrow's episode or today's, depending on how you look at it. And uh, I'm gonna see you all there. I'm gonna like teleport right now and see you all tomorrow.